This is a public space, but it's not open to the public. So artists can be a window into the site. Artists like Jade are really good at revealing what's hidden. I know this part of the site really well. The dumpsters are old friends. And we're at the base of South Mound. Many times I've stopped and worked with the dumpsters that are out of use, retired dumpsters, if you will. What's interesting is in between my shoots, sanitation often comes and reconfigures them, shuffle them around, pile them on top of each other, things like that. I have been working first as an artist partner and now as the photographer in residence of Fresh Kills since 2018. This is probably about my 50th time on site. Every time I'm here, I do try to do something completely different, which is pretty challenging. Um. I've been focusing on what I think of as micro moments in the landscape, trying to veer away from kind of big, epic, grand vistas. You know, sometimes it's about finding the abstractions within the topography, and sometimes it's about just responding to the weather conditions and what's going on per mound. I grew up in Pennsylvania, but my grandmother lived in the Bronx, and we would drive through Staten Island, so I have that memory of seeing all the seagulls out the window and having to roll up the windows because it was very fragrant on the countryside. Uh-oh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I came into this relatively late compared to when Fresh Kills actually closed as a landfill. I've still seen a lot of transformation, both natural and unnatural, through the work I'm doing, creating this archive of photographs, which ultimately represents the complicated nature of what is happening here. It's not so much a blight anymore, but it really was for, for a very long time, and I think Art can be uniquely helpful in helping us understand the intricacies of those relationships, both past, present, and future.